Hello, I want to give you a little background, a little video here to help you with this week's lab. This week's lab is right here, cell structure and function. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is go down here to this lower corner and let's open the lab manual. So I'm going to take the lab manual and move it, well I said it was, hmm, that's interesting. I'm going to move it over here to the edge and now I'm going to open it. Okay, so first thing I want to do is read the background information. So speed read through the background information right here. Not that you should speed read, but just for our video, I am speed reading through it. Okay, there we go. So you have thoroughly read the background information. Let's go to the procedures. Now, with the procedures, they give you some background on using the virtual microscope. So, the microscope here on the computer. And they take you through all the steps of it. So, you need to read through that and play around with the microscope, figure out how to use it. Notice there's a lot of information on that. So, get, work your way down through that. And we'll get down here to experiment one with the amoeba. Okay, so um, so now I'm going to move up here and I want to get my microscope. So I'm going to go to instruments and there is about a $2,000 microscope. And I'm going to set that down here on the bench. Okay, so the next thing I need is the materials. And it would have probably helped if I would have scooted the microscope more to the right so I wasn't blocking my view of the materials tab there. Okay, for this first one, I want to find the amoeba slide. So right here, find the amoeba slide. So there's the amoeba slide. I'm going to click on it, take it down here, place it on the microscope. Now you can see an out of focus little red dot there. That's the amoeba. Okay, I want to move in closer to be able to work with this. So, I'm going to go in a little bit closer, like this. I want to get to where I can read the, the objective right there. I'm going to move over a little bit so I can kind of see everything. Whoops. There we go. Okay, first thing I need to do is focus. So, I've got a fine focus adjustment and a coarse focus adjustment. So I will start with the course focus adjustment. I will just click on it and I'll roll that down. And you notice how it just magically comes into, into focus. Now if you were using a real microscope, it wouldn't, it wouldn't work that readily. Um, what they've done here is they have two photos, an out of focus photo and an in focus photo. And when you go down here and adjust the course focus uh, adjustment or the fine focus adjustment either one it magically goes to this in focus view okay that's a little bit small so let's move up here to 10x okay so I clicked on that now notice we're at 10x okay this is a little off center so I'm going to use my adjustments right here for the mechanical stage I'm going to grab hold of it and I'm just going to roll that like that and move that into the center. Okay, that looks pretty good right now. So, you notice right here, click on the objectives and then uh, move up to 10x, recenter the amoeba as required. Now then, we want to do this one. Take a snapshot of the amoeba at 10x. So right here, this button says snapshot and click. There it is. And I will give it a name. I think Amoeba at 10X would be a pretty good name for this. So I'll just hit save and it saved it. Okay. Now then, I want to work with that. Uh, with with that image. So I'm going to go down here to Media Player. That's where my image should be located. And it's looking for the image and I have to go here. Your Media. 
right here. So I'll click on that. Now I've got a bunch of old images on here, so let's just go down through those. You won't have all these old images on yours because you're just getting started with this. Okay, here's the one that I just took. Sunday, February 9th, 2014. So I want to work with this. So I'm going to click on this and go back over here to uh, the procedures. Notice I ask you to uh, find, label, and save the snapshots of the following. Well, you made the snapshot. Now we need to label it. Now we need to find it and now label it. So, a little pencil right here. It says draw. Let's click on that. And that gives us some stuff to work with over there. I need to move this over a little. So maybe I can click it right here. There I can move it over. Now then, I am going to use this tool right here. The white circle. And it gives me some different shapes. I could use a circle and put a circle around something or a square around something here. I want to use this one. I want to make a line. I want to make a line to the cell membrane. Cell membrane is right out here on the edge of the cell. So there, there's a little line to the cell membrane. Okie dokie. Now then, I want to make a line to the cytoplasm. Okay, so the cytoplasm is just this fluid inside the cell. So right there's my line to the cytoplasm. I want to make a line to a pseudopod. A pseudopod is this extension of the cell right here. And then a line to the nucleus. So there's my line to the nucleus right there. Okay, now then, I want to put in some text. Okay, so um, we'll stay with 10 point right there. Usually there's some choice of colors down here. I don't see those coming up this time. Um, oh, to get the choice of colors, I have to click on the color wheel. And I'm just going to try to keep things simple, and I'm just going to stay with black right here. Okay, so text. I'm going to go up here, and I'm going to put my text in. And that is the cell membrane. So cell membrane. Okay, now then I'm going to go right down here to this line. That's the nucleus, nucleus, right there. I'm going to go down here. That is the pseudopod, right there, the extension. That's how the, that's how the amoeba is going to move. It's going to send out an exten extension of its uh, cell membrane and cytoplasm that will extend forward that's a pseudopod and then the rest of the cell just sort of catches up with that allows it to move now then let's see one more need to label so I'm still on text I'll go over here click that and I'm going to type in that that is the cytoplasm okay now then that looks pretty good so I want to save this and well, let's see. Well, it'd be nice if we cooperated a little bit. Um, save right there, the, uh, the old floppy disk symbol right there for save. So I'll click on save. And once again, need to give it a title. Amoeba 10X. Seems like a pretty good title. And I'll click OK right there. It is saving it. And that should have it. So let's go ahead and get that one out of the way. And, and now I just want to check and make sure that it's there. So I'm going to go back down to Media Player right down here in the corner. Click on that. OK. I'm going to Your Media, which in this case is My Media. And I'm going to, again, you'll just have the one image. Uh, you won't have all these others. But I'm going to go down here to the bottom of my list. And this should be the one that I just finished working on, Amoeba 10X, Sunday, February 9th, 2014. Click on it. And, yep, that's what we just did. Okay, so it looks good. It's there. 
So now we can go on to the next image. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to zoom out. Okay, so I'm going to zoom out so that I can get, there's my trash can down here. I'm going to take the amoeba slide off, put the amoeba slide in the trash can. Now in reality, in lab, you would not throw these things in the trash can. Matter of fact, when we get down, we're going to throw this $2,000 microscope in the trash can. You certainly wouldn't do that in a real lab. But it's a make-believe microscope. So we can make believe that we're throwing away $2,000. Okay, so now I want to do the same thing with paramecium. And you'll place paramecium on the slide. Run through the process. You always start with uh, the 4x objective. It will automatically start at that level. You'll work your way up to 10x, then to 40x, and then to 80x and then just follow the directions, adjust the X and Y knobs on the mechanical stage as needed, take your snapshot of the paramecium at 80X, and then save that snapshot, bring your snapshot up as we did a minute ago, label these parts right here, the cell membrane, the cytoplasm, the nucleus, contractile vacuole, and the cilia. Okay. Now, after you've done this for the paramecium, do the same thing for the euglena. Notice you will take it up to 100x. And then uh, with the euglena, the euglena has a flagellum, but for whatever reason, we can't see the flagella in these, uh, these images. Uh, then do the same thing with the uh, basic plant cell, which over here on your shelf will be labeled as, well, let's find it, as an onion root. And then you can go ahead and take a look at this one on the animal cell uh, with the cheek cells, but I never could get it to work a while ago. Let's just try it real quick and see. Uh, real quickly and see right here my guess is if it didn't work a while ago it's not going to work now and you can see the screen is just white right here we really can't see an image so there's some kind of technical problem uh, with this computer program that we can't see the cheek cells it'd be nice if we could but we can't so when you when it's all said and done when you're finished you should have uh, an image of the amoeba and have that labeled with these parts right here. You should have an image of the paramecium at ADX. Well, let's try it again, ADX, and have these parts right here labeled. You should have an image of the euglena at 100X, and have these three parts labeled, and have an image of the plant cell at 100x and have these three parts labeled right here. You will not be able to get an image of the animal cell. It would really be nice if you could. Um, okay, once you have that finished, once you have your images uh, finished and labeled, send me an email just like you have sent me uh, your previous lab write-ups. Send me an email that you have completed this, this week's lab, and I will be able to come on here, go on to Late Night Lab, go to your material, and look at your images and grade them accordingly. Grade, grade your lab for this week based on those images. Okay, thank you, and if you have any questions, be sure and uh, send me an email. Uh, I guess that's probably the best way to contact me. Send me an email. Okay, thank you, and... Good luck with it.